data. It's recording the Arr, data. Matey. Arr. No, you be talk re- like a jackass day. Yes, Aww. it is. <laughs> we be sailing the seven MP3s. Oh no. It's uh, Veterans Day here in the United States. That's why I was doing that voice. That's the voice that's of a veteran? My, that's my veteran impression. <laughs> Darn me hearties! I lost my leg at Vietnam! <laughs> that's, uh... Is that offensive? I can ask. Shiver me timbers, World War II! I'm paying tribute... How is that offensive? I'm paying tribute to the men and women who defend this country. God bless America, please. At last... Well, it's a gross generalization that they're all sort of haggard, seafaring <laughs> ne'er-do-wells, isn't it? I never said that. You're the one saying that. I, I never said they were ne'er-do-wells. They talk like pirates. They're a noble pirates. Have you not seen Pirates of the Caribbean? <laughs> I haven't, actually. I watched a little bit of it. Jack, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow is an affable scamp. Yeah. A charming ne'er-do-well. Exactly. Mm. So I'm, I, you see, not all ne'er do wells are bad. Not unlike a Vietnam vet. Yeah, well is something they will ne'er do. I will grant you that. But they can be charming. They can be. We can be on their side and root for them. Yarr! <laughs> I, I suppose people die who were my friends. The memories haunt me, and that's a joke, apparently. <laughs> For, for a podcast full of privileged middle class white boys who ain't done nothing for no one. I'm not that white. For the I'm... purposes of this joke, you are. Because <laughs> you're not actually white. You're a... I, I'm told frequently. It, it Lately, Asians and African Americans think I look like David Cross, and Caucasians maintain that I look just like the dad from Everybody Loves Raven. In many ways, you are both those things. At the same time. You, yeah. are, you are Ray Cross. <laughs> I'm uh, by raven Shull. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, of course, you, hmm? uh, your um, actual ethnic background is a complete mystery. Yes, it is. We, don't, we know you've got some heritage in Germany. No. Or... No. No? There is someone with a German accent who is my mother. That's good enough. She, she wasn't born in Germany. It's weirder than that. Uh, no one, yeah, it's weird. Okay, well, so, you know, you can trace your bloodline back to uh, Adolf Hitler, is what we're saying. <laughs> um, you are I descended. Don't think so. I'm fairly certain you're descended from Nazi deserters. Is uh, that? nope. Nazi distance? <laughs> no, uh, no that's, that's not the case. They went over to the Allied side. Don't get me wrong. They were still... They did some terrible things. The Allies sort of covered it up for them. They did uh, awful things in the war, your ancestors, Jordan. No. I've been tracing it on this family tree. What's on that family tree? Your great, great, great grandfather was very good drinking buddies with Joseph Mengele. That's not. My mom would slap you. She slapped a man once. Uh, I don't know if I told you she was a therapist in prison for, I think, 20 years or so. Yeah. Maybe longer. And one of the prison guards thought it would be funny to be like, hey, Germans are Nazis. <laughs> Isn't that funny? To, to my mom. And she's like, no, that's not funny. And she's like, eh. so he like went on the intercom in the prison and was like, yeah. Paging Jonathan Holmes's mom, um, make lampshades out of a Jewish guy's ribcage. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. So she walked in and slapped him in the face, and all his buddies laughed at him. Oh, too true. I mean, mm. don't get me wrong. Yes. All German people are Nazis. <laughs> but he crossed a line. He took it from, you know, just a statement of scientific fact. And turned it into something offensive and generalizing. <laughs> Unlike saying it's scientific fact that everyone with a German accent is a Nazi. Or well, yeah, Nazi. yeah. I mean, well, I mean, he's implying that every German is a bad Nazi. 
you know, the ones that did the bad things. I'm saying all Germans are Nazis. There's a big difference. There's a gulf of difference between what I said and what that prison guard said when he paged your mum and told her to do that horrible thing. Yeah, he, like, said she did it. I exactly. Think. Some Nazis yeah. just do the propaganda posters. They're just artists and... Like... Exactly, patrons of the arts. <laughs> drawing, drawing, you know, pictures of the foreign hordes. I... I don't feel so good about Nazis, no matter if they're just the painterly kind or the actual killing kind. Well, I think in many ways that's what this podcast exists to do, Jonathan. In many what? ways, The Dismal Jesters is a show all about saying, you know what? The Nazis were bang out of order. It wasn't cool what they did. And I think it's about time someone said that in podcast form. And if you are listening, um, Nazis... I just want to say it's not okay. And I'm hoping that, you know, any other listeners who listen to this who may not be Nazis, uh, German or otherwise, will stand with us in this, because I realize it's not a popular opinion. But I am just saying, Jonathan, mm. that Nazis, like um, the ones in your family, crossed a line. It wasn't good what the Nazis did. Okay? And what what do you suggest they do now? Well, I mean, it's, it's never too late for an apology. Okay. <laughs> so you're suggesting that the, the few surviving active Nazis from them old days, yeah. olden days, World War II, it was actually, it's Veterans Day. So this is topical. Be a nice a gesture. Veterans of World War II on both the uh, Allies and the Axis Army. Today, some Nazis hiding in South America, probably in their 90s, could come out and say, you know what, guys? I shouldn't have done it. Exactly. I mean, that's just to begin with. I think they should have a parade. A big apology parade. Yeah. Where we organize. We could organize this, John. We we can. This is a great idea. Like, we could go uh, to the center, in what I consider the center of cultural healing for the world, the city of Boston, uh, which, if correct me if I'm wrong, you happen to live there, Jonathan. Pretty close to it, yeah. That's convenient. Oh, yeah. Because if we do this in the, the, the cultural healing center of the world, Boston, and you are Boston's favorite son, Jonathan Holmes. So we will actually get some good, like, we'll get the word out. People will say, look, I heard that the Nazis... <laughs> I, I heard that the Nazis are going to apologise in Boston. Will Boston's favourite son be there? Yes, he will be. I'm going to be there. I do not want to miss this. You almost had me at Nazis. Jonathan Holmes sealed the deal. And we'll put posters up, Jonathan Holmes meets the Nazi stars. Who are the, the Nazi stars? Whatever ones are still alive and prominent members of um, the neo-Nazis. Oh, right. You know, the young bloods that are keeping the spirit and tradition alive, but, but who doubtless feel pretty bad about what happened. Mm, I don't think so. I think they became Nazis because they are pretty gross a lot of the time. The neo-Nazis. I'm sensing uh, a lot of judgment in your voice. That's, I do. I to do, be I, honest, it was that kind of intolerance that led to all the trouble. Uh, I've met quite a few neo-Nazis, as you might expect, and they're not all bad, of course, but <laughs> what they're doing is bad, for sure. Oh, sure, sure. I'm, yeah, it's bad. But that's why we need to get them all together and, and let them feel sorry for what they've done. It'll be a healing Look, experience. One of my best friends is a neo-Nazi, okay? I have nothing against them. Really? Does no. he know about... <laughs> that was just a lie. One of those lie jokes. One of my favorites. Yeah, so I'm just saying, you know, we, um, we marched through the city of Boston with all of the Nazis we can gather. And they can hold up flags and ba beat on drums. And maybe we can get them to just say, I'm sorry, in, a German, um, in the German language. Uh, over and over again, really loud, in a kind of enforced, um, almost regimental manner. 
So they um, can see this big organized um, sort of show of sorrow. Uh huh. <laughs> so to march through the town, uh-huh. uh, chanting something in, in German. Yeah, in, in, in heavy formation. German. Right. Yeah. The, a language not too many people know. And would they be dressed in the formal Nazi attire? Well, oh, I, I would assume. Nazis. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah. So it's just a, it's a Nazi march and, through Boston. And yeah. and you'd be there, Jonathan, showing solidarity, <sighs> proving. <sighs> Proving that you don't think you're above the Nazis, because really, who can make that arrogant claim? I, d- I really <laughs> um, do think I am. I to, mean... sh- to show your solidarity, you'll be there wearing uh, a kind of SS uh, <laughs> oh, boy, uniform. Photoshops. It's tough, you know. Every episode of anything I do with you, Jim, is just one more Photoshop that will keep me from ever getting hired in a real job ever again. Well, Jonathan, you are the all original Ubermensch. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. They wouldn't have me. I'm not Aryan enough. But I'm, I am too. Everybody loves Raymond, Dad. Not Raymond. Raven. I mix those two up sometimes. Well, I'm just saying. Yes, that's so Raven. We're, we're, or Raymond, yeah. <laughs> we're promoting... T- this is the whole point of promoting tolerance among the Nazi party. That's why you'll be there, like, at the, at the forefront, leading the march with a big stick and an SS uniform and a hat with a skull and crossbones on it. Like a pirate? We're, we're dragging the pirates back into this, those poor guys? And you'll be marching there going, Zig Holmes! Zig Holmes! Zig Holmes! That I'm that into myself and <laughs> Nazi-ish, pirate-ish stuff. And you've given um, you've given everyone in the parade bricks with a note tied to it with "I'm sorry" written on it. And we'll go up to various businesses run by like local uh, businessmen, um, many of whom actually didn't get a start in the United States, uh, but thanks to the land of the free, have built themselves a small empire. And we'll be throwing those apology bricks through their windows. <laughs> we started the show talking about Metallica and Megadeth. We were singing. You sang a beautiful song, Jim. Yeah, but I, the I, file got lost. It didn't right. record. And we thought, oh, that's all right. You know, that wasn't that good. The listeners aren't going to enjoy hearing Jim sing a really funny Megadeth song. I sang, I think, at least two Metallica songs. Uh, Conrad was in there. Talking about the X Files was a really good episode, but we're like, no, 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 start over, and this is what they get: it's Nazi. Exactly what they were expecting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh.